I don't know about you, but I've been using spreadsheet applications for a very, very long time. Do you remember this one, Lotus 123? Yeah, I was using that back in the DOS days on a PC. And then along came Windows, and there were some early versions of Microsoft Excel and Quattro Pro, you might remember that one. Even on the Mac, there were early versions of spreadsheet applications. And all of them had one thing in common. When you opened up a file, you had one huge spreadsheet. There were hundreds of columns, thousands of rows, and all of your data went onto one big sheet. And that made it very difficult when you had different areas where you had data stored in different pockets and some of that data was used in other areas and then navigating through this huge sheet was difficult and cumbersome. And things really improved when you finally had the ability to have multiple sheets in a workbook like we have now in Microsoft Excel. So this chapter is going to be all about working with sheets. And sheets really help you to stay organized, keep things nice and neat and clean and easy to work with. You can see I've already opened up a file here from the Lesson 3 folder of the exercise files. If you've got them and you want to follow along, open up revenues1.xlsx and you'll have what I have. Now this particular workbook is made up of multiple sheets. You can see them down below represented by these tabs. I've got an overall sheet, which I'm currently viewing. Next is ILT, short for Instructor-Led Training. If I click on that tab, I view that sheet. And then I've got Tutorials. If I click on that tab, I see the Tutorial Sheet. And you can see how everything's nice and neat, located in one area. And if I go back to the overall sheet, I've got columns for Instructor-Led Training, Tutorials. I've also got one for Webinars that's currently not located down at the bottom. But information in this overall sheet is going to come from those other sheets. So let's say that my responsibility is instructor-led training. Then I might just work on this one sheet. I don't have to worry about the other tabs down below. It's easy for me. I don't have to locate it. It's right there. One easy tab to click on. And I've got everything I need in front of me. Now other people might need to work on tutorials or maybe the webinars, for example. All of that info will come back to this overall sheet, and that's the beauty behind having multiple sheets. So this chapter, like I said, is all about working with sheets. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to add sheets, because it would appear that, according to this overall sheet, we're missing one for webinars. Now, there are different ways for us to add sheets to an actual workbook. One way is just to come down here and click the little plus sign where it says Insert Sheet. Now doing that accepts any defaults. Let's try it. We'll click the plus sign. It adds a new sheet. It's a blank sheet. There's nothing on it. No formatting, no data, no hit start. And it's added to the end of the last sheet here after tutorials. Easy as pie. Now if I go back to the overall sheet and I know that numbers are going to be coming from these other sheets and I look at ILT and I look at tutorials, they look very similar in nature. One has an extra column. But wouldn't it be better if I could actually take this sheet and copy it? Well, I could. I could copy all of the contents here and paste them over here on this sheet. But this sheet doesn't have the same attributes as the others. For one, you can see all of the grid lines, so the formatting and so on would have to be applied. So there will be some manual labor involved, but inserting the sheet was pretty easy. Another way to insert new sheets is to go up to the Insert menu. And from here, you'll see we do have a sheet category with a submenu where we can insert a blank sheet. That's just what we did by clicking the plus sign. This is the equivalent. But you can also insert different kinds of sheets as well. Later on in this title, we'll be working with charts. Inserting a chart sheet actually starts a brand new chart for you. So you get a nice head start. Same thing for working with lists. Later on when we explore lists, we'll insert a list sheet, which gets you started with a brand new blank list. So for now, we're just looking at blank sheets. Notice that we have Other down below as well. Clicking Other is going to display the project gallery. And in here, you can see we've got the ability to insert those three sheets we just saw. Blank, there's Chart, there's List, there's a couple of others as well. Macro sheets and dialog sheets. Now I'm going to cancel this and show you probably the best way to insert a new sheet, and that's from the Elements Gallery. Up here, the very first tab in the Elements Gallery is Sheets. And when I click on that, notice the categories, Accounts, Budgets, Invoices, Lists, Portfolios, Reports, and Blank Sheets. All of these are categories that allow me to select from these thumbnails down below. 
And as I hover over them, I find out a little bit of information over here on the left-hand side about that sheet. This is for account balances, business checkbooks. So a lot of the formatting and some of the actual labeling and so on is done for you. You get a nice head start. If I go up to budgets, I'll see different options like bill trackers, event budgets. Now, that's great if you want to insert a brand new sheet that's different from the rest. Now, I'm going to close up the elements gallery here by clicking sheets again. And really what I want to do is not insert a blank sheet or any of those other sheets. I want one that looks like one of these. So let's play out a scenario here. The webinars actually tracks revenues from live webinars as well as generic webinars. And then there's also an archive. So I'm thinking it's probably going to look a lot like the tutorial sheet because we want three columns and then our total. So wouldn't it be nice if we could just take a duplicate of this one and then tweak it a little bit to be our webinar sheet? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in the next lesson. So before we do that, we need to get rid of the new sheet we just added. Clicking on the Sheet tab here displays the blank sheet. Now, when you insert a sheet, that's not something you can undo. Notice the Undo button is not available. Wouldn't that be easy? Just click Undo and the sheet's gone. But you can't. You actually have to delete a sheet. If I go up to the Edit menu, over here, you'll notice that I've got some options like Delete Sheet. There it is right there. I also have Move or Copy Sheet. That's what we're going to be looking at in the next lesson. Another option is to right click, or if you've got a single button mouse, hold down your Control key and click on the Sheet tab down here at the bottom. That displays a menu which includes Delete. So we're going to do that. We'll need to confirm that we meant to delete that because anything that's in here will be permanently deleted. This is blank, so I'm okay with clicking OK. It's gone. We're ready to move on to the next lesson now where we're going to actually duplicate one of these sheets and then make a few adjustments.